this seemed totally and completely relevant. Hi guys, this is Connie, and I have not really paid too much attention to everything in the world, but I paid attention enough to, and have to thank my sister in love. She posted an article for how you could make your own face mask with a handkerchief or a scarf. Um, Ivy Bear has already commandeered one of these from me and I was a little bit upset and then realized I spent a year taking pictures of me in scarves. I think I'll be okay and I can find more things. Um, I'm actually still working this out because I was thinking of like, well, what, if, what about the nose thing here? What about this or what about that? And it's fairly simple. If you think about what you have, use what you have and do the best that you can with what you've got. And so that is what I decided to do. But I'm trying to remember right now. So you take your scarf. Theoretically, the way that it w works with this is you fold it in half and you fold one side in. It's very similar to origami, where you fold it inside on itself so it looks, it looks like this right now. And then I'm gonna lay that down and do the same thing on the other side where it looks like this on both sides. See, there's the, the, the opening side is gonna be faced up because that's the part you're going to use on the inside. And you can, I have a couple of hair ties. You can use hair ties, you can use rubber bands, whatever you need. I also realized probably gonna have to cut this short because Mustachio went into the shower and Ivy Bear didn't go in with him yet. She wanted, I think she wants, she does this back and forth thing as a toddler where she's like, no, please. And I'm like, toddlers. And she's squawking now. But I noticed that there are a lot of uh, bread ties like this. So obviously clean it use an alcohol swab, whatever you feel is best. Use your best judgment, use your common sense. And I basically was gonna take this and fold it over so that it had a little bit more traction for the nose. And I'm trying to remember which part of this fold I put it into. I think I just put it in the top fold under that first thing. This is touch and go for me because I've only ever done this once and I was like, you know what I have? I don't need a pipe cleaner when I've got 15 bread wrap metal bendy pieces. So, so here's what it looks like. I took the bendy bread thing here. This is the facing out part. Both sides get folded in. Um, so what's going to end up happening it's much easier to do on a table, but I have no multiple angles and stuff. I'm special. Uh, but basically you fold these in like this. So you start to see it look like a mask. Um, you basically pick a side, whichever one looks, this side looks a little bit bigger. And I'll take this and open it up and fold it in. And that's going to be, there's, where's the, Find your nose piece. There you go. Find your nose piece. You can turn it around. And there's my nose piece. I'm going to place that part first. And then I'm going to find my hairband. And find my hairband. And that's it. I used a handkerchief, neckerchief, scarf, two hairbands, and a bread tie. I now have a homemade cloth mask for what the CDC is recommending us to use when we go out in public. Yes, I completely understand that this may not prevent me contracting the virus, but we have also learned that it keeps you from wanting to touch your face. And if you already potentially have been exposed or you may have it, you can now breathe your own air and not cough and sneeze on the people around you. So the more I look at this, the creepier it looks, but it has my own flair. It doesn't match anything I own, which is fine, but it's one way that you can 
make this without having to buy extra materials unless you feel the need to do so. Shop small. We love our small businesses. But in the meantime, in between time, if you happen to have a bandana or a scarf or a handkerchief, this will do. And until then, be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. Do I look as creepy as I feel right now? Because I kind of, it's just so strange. But it works. Like, my ears and my hair. Of course, another part of me feels like if I really had to, wow, that kicked back worse than I thought. I feel like in a pinch. These don't want to stay on now. I feel like in a pinch I could do this. But then there's the, the fog. Maybe I'll have to find a way to fold over the bread tie again. This is a fun look. This, this could work. <sighs> Finding ways to keep busy. How are you doing? I do like that it covers this double chin. My insecurity.